hey guys good morning and welcome to the channel right so um the very first project we'll be building on this um channel is the main one right so basically what it does is a crypto um currency platform that basically um gives the user the ability to deposit into some core wallet you can see them here right so we have them up to i think six so the, the point is if you deposit on one specific wallet um your return will be smaller compared to deposit on several wallets so when you spread your portfolio you have the potential to actually earn more so we'll actually discuss the complexity of that later on um so about the purpose of this video is for us to be able to have uh, a quick overview of what we'll be building right so um obviously this is the dashboard um here so you basically have the um the other section for you to deposit and withdraw um fiat and crypto respectively and then you have your transactions um, section that you can view your transactions in and definitely there's a withdrawal section i think i have to show you guys that as well yeah so basically withdraw so we'll be using an exchange later on so when you when we talk about the um the back end um flow all right so um well uh, if i must actually discuss uh the back end will be built um with node node js and i'm actually thinking of using um um sequelize orm uh by using the postgres database um well that may actually change uh, the other factors i may want to consider uh, before actually choosing the database and the backend architecture all right so um you can actually see that that's the the dashboard basically now right i want us to look at the um the landing page right so a lot will change here right so this will actually be, be built last yes so the essence of actually building this last is that majority of the assets here we don't know what they would yet um like what we have here a lot will change like the place over here will have to change as well right so this is actually the core concept of the platform so you can actually see you might have guessed by now <laughs> uh the fiat we're using here is ngn but i'm planning on using um usd um well it's actually a ngn here because where i'm getting the product from is um nigeria um I, I was actually thinking of using platforms like um some platforms here to have this functionality running but it seems i'll be switching to binance later on well i think this is the essence of every software development when you start you don't know what to do but the purpose like the main goal is for you to start because you never know what to do until you start doing it right so once we actually go to the whiteboard and start drafting all these things out it would be far much more you know easier for us to um, know what and what to be using how we can actually code the logic and so much more so everything just happens in the whiteboard not when you're actually drafting it out the first time the first time you don't know anything so that's basically that and yeah so so basically this leads you i will run behind the scene right i run behind the scene so when you scroll down a little bit you have this um, um payment subscriptions um, section this will change these are just placeholders um for now and then um yes 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 and then the footer nothing much going on there so i'll take you back to the dashboard again so the very first page that we've covered if you notice is the home um, is the wallet section so now let's talk about the swap section so mean one as a cryptocurrency platform we actually have a section for you to swap your assets right so now we can actually have btc within your wallet so what you actually swapping right has to do with the generic currencies generic currencies you have in the platform if you notice now what we are actually looking at is btc we don't actually depend on any form of currency we're just focusing on a btc btc seem to be a very volatile currency right so it's the main currency and it's extremely volatile it changes every now and then and 
our main goal with this platform is to stabilize it not stabilize it in a core sense but stabilize in terms of you know we having to deposit there and if the price actually goes up or down within a day with a 24 hour frame then we can actually credit the user so that's the point so the business logic um, regarding that will be discussed there are right and yes and so you see it now so you can actually swap your currency from 7.07 btc to whatever fiat so this one will be auto generated depending on what you are going for right and then you can actually swap it into your local bank right so the business logic regarding all of this will be discussed you know later on and then you can actually have the other section for you to view your swap transactions right so yeah so you basically see what you swapped from and to and then you see the um the reference id not reference id that per se but just the swap id so that's it and um, basically for that section i see you get some whatever um faq as it got to swap right here right yeah so basically that's it for the swap page so for the other page we have the statistics um, i don't think we have one that is not really important um no to that page has not been added yet but i don't think it's of any importance for now so let's talk about settings page yeah so settings page should be around here there we go so settings actually have different sections like privacy and security wallet and swap identification and logout right so privacy this actually contains 2fa right that causes 2fa password um, recovery codes and then we need to actually figure out how to get um what's it called um, how to get your sessions because it's, it's very vital so we actually have to fight it sessions as well because um, this is a very secured highly secured application we um we won't actually give room for any form of um, um any form of leakages right and the purpose of we actually having all of this is actually discussed much more in i think in the identity and verification um, part so let's go over to wallet and swap so wallet and swap as you can see yes so here it's actually asking you what percentage of the available balance should be swapped so because the core purpose is we're actually swapping in every 24 hour frame right so you can actually choose 30 percent 50 percent or 100 percent so by default it is around um 100 um, percent by default so we'll set that to 100 percent by default mm. so so we have it have up to different wallets right so you can actually choose the one you want to enable the one you enabled would be the one that swap um will be conducted in so it should will actually be the one we are swapping on basically so if you choose core one and core six so it's actually these two wallets will be swapping on in every 24 hour time frame all right so um you can have a chance to disable your wallet to re-enable or not if you actually disable you won't be able to exactly disable your wallet we amount lower profit the more active wallet the better all right so that's that for the wallet and swap the most important part i would say in any crypto exchange is the identity verification because you need information from here you know to provide to your local um, uh, security um, agencies or commissions right so we actually need this information to process because without this information you might actually be in a lot of trouble all right so identity and verification all right there we go so now as you can see here what we have here is we have basic verification and then we have the advanced verification the basic verification is very simple you select your um your id type then you turn on your camera for us to get your selfie then you upload the identification um means of method well by identification method i mean probably your id card or whatever your passport so um you can see from here now we just save that so the advanced verification actually goes a little bit forward 
right? So we want to know your resident, uh, your proof of residence. So yeah, so we we'll actually take that your proof of residence, then you upload that proof of res resident document. It can actually be your bank, um, your uh, utility B payment, basically. The utility B could be be your utility B. Let, let me not put it as I wanted to use the word NEPA or whatever, but that's actually strategic to Nigerian only because the core purpose of the applications is not to build it for Nigerians only, but I, I want to make it a global phenomenon, um, basically right so <clears throat> that would just be your local utility um, document that you can upload there you specify your address um city zip then you submit so you might actually notice something here that we are not actually using any form of real-time verification means like the way binance and the rest are doing and we're not doing this is that we want to actually make sure all our um, verification is done manually so we have to verify if all of these documents are real so we have an agent that verifies all of these documents manually because it's far safer um, there's no loophole you cannot really um, you know bypass any form of these um, verification uh, methods um, so the, the importance of this will actually be discussed later on I will actually show you a little way you can actually bypass some of these um auto verification per se all right so um yeah so okay this is just a drop down basically task certificate it's a, oh it's a part of what we discussed earlier yeah so and finally i think so if you approach just see the screen approved so then you can basically log out so before I actually calling this the day um i would like to um, discuss the withdrawal part yes so um, this is the, the, the fair deposit and withdrawal part so there, there are lots of things that we might want to do here so you notice we wanted to actually start using voucher for fiat deposit but that might change because this is more of a global concept um, we might not be using voucher because vouchers are not really available worldwide and there are some areas that don't really support um, vouchers and um vouchers can be really um, difficult per se for areas that don't support them so um yeah and then for, for you for you to be able to withdraw crypto so you just have to impute the the address you want to withdraw into the amount you want to withdraw and then you can go off from there so that's basically all for that flow and it's as simple as that Right, so um, that is that for this application, and this is basically the login page, and then the register page. Yes, so that is it, and the the other thing I would like to mention is the fact that what we are building here is that we are actually using some tools for the front end. So, um, so I'll be building the front end using um, either React or Vue 3 as a time of recording. I think those are like the hottest frameworks now. And I'm using React or Vue 3. But the backend we built with Node.js using the SQL ORM and the Postgres database. Um, no, I'm not doing Mongo for now. Uh, probably there will be other tutorials that I, um, that I would do um, using Mongo, but definitely not this one. And yes, so guys, that's it for today. Please um, like and subscribe. Let's follow this journey. I'll be building everything right from scratch to the very end. Thank you guys and see you on the next one.